you guys. Eep. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Hey everyone. I'm Lisa. Welcome to Luxury and Life in the Middle. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. If you like all things luxury and fashion from kind of the perspective of someone who's in the middle of her life, I don't really like to say that, but I am. Um, in my mind, by the way, I'm only 28 and I have been for a long time. But anyway, I digress. So from someone who's kind of in the middle of her life, who happens to live in the middle of the United States, not really the Mecca of fashion or designer goods, then stick around and click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. So as you saw from the very beginning of the video, we have a Fendi, we're going to call it an unboxing, even though it's an unbagging. And I am so, so excited. I normally do my handbag of the day and what I'm carrying in it. Unfortunately, I totally forgot about my son's baseball practice. So I ran him to baseball practice very quickly and late and just left my bag in the car because I have to go pick him up shortly anyway. So you may see a difference in lighting as I film this video because I wanted to get this filmed and up hopefully tomorrow. So I'm kind of probably filming it in different pieces. But anyway, I can tell you the fragrance that I'm wearing today because it, you can kind of see off to the side here, those are actually my fall fragrances. I will move them into my bathroom and switch it out and put, I have the same tray for my spring summer fragrances. Uh, and those are in the bathroom since that's where I get dressed and sprayed. But this is by Francis Dubois and it is the Minuet et Demi. Again, probably butchering that. It was a collaboration with Demi Rawlings, I believe is her last name. I follow her on YouTube and I really like it. It definitely has some spice to it. I'll put up the notes so you can see what they are, but I really, really enjoy this perfume, especially when it gets to be fall, winter. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first item, like I said, is from Vestier Collective. And it is, and I don't have a box for these, and that'll give you a hint, but they are the Fendi Col Colibri, Colibri, again, don't know where the accent is on the word, so those of you who are Fendi experts, Dale and calling to you, let us, let me know. Is it Colibri or Colibri? Anyway. These are the lower heel version in the classic Fendi Zucker print in this kind of mesh. And then it's got um, the leather strips around here. And this part is the most comfortable thing to wear. I've tried on the higher pair. I think they're 85 millimeter in store and they're, they're, comfortable. I mean, at least to try on, they're comfortable, right? I think we all know that trying a pair of shoes on in the store, not always representative of the level of comfort you have actually when you walk in them for more than five minutes, but they felt comfortable. But I knew that these would just be like utmost comfort. And this little padded, it's like this little padded part on the back just makes it so so comfortable on your feet and on your heel so very easy to wear um you can see they've obviously got wear on the bottom here so i have been wearing these if you follow me on instagram i will put my handle down below they um i've styled them a couple times on there so i guess i also should say that this is not a true unbagging or unboxing, but I'm, like I said, so, so excited about it. So the second item came, like I said, in this very large Fendi bag. I saw this item actually online originally. And then when I was in New York for the month of June, 
I tried it on at the Fendi Boutique on Madison Avenue and fell in love with it. But as I've said to you guys before in several of my videos, I really prefer, if at all possible, to buy from the boutiques that are within department stores so that I can get points on what I purchase. So that's what happened here. Not to mention, I adore my Neiman Marcus Fendi sales associate. He is amazing. I have never met him in person, but I feel like he and I are very good friends, actually. So anyway, so he arranged to get this for me. I actually got it originally in a size up, and I'll go through that in a minute, but it's pretty oversized and it, it just, it was too big. So I, he arranged for me to exchange it and we'll get into that. So without further ado, in here is my very first piece of Fendi ready to wear. So let's see unhook this and it comes in this beautiful garment bag which is really wonderful for storing it's even got like a little place here to put uh, like a name card if you're traveling so sort of like a luggage tag but for your garment bag and what i got is so this is the brown go-to jacket i believe is the right term I'll, I'll make sure that i put it on the screen here so you see it but this is what it is. It's definitely kind of a foundation of their collection. They seem to bring it out different seasons and in different patterns, but this obviously is the classic Zucca print. And so it comes with, I'll show you the shirt in a minute or the shirt jacket, uh, but it comes with this, make sure that focuses, Fendi belt. And I did take the sticker off of that, but I realized that there is still a sticker on the back. So we will, Take that off together. There we go. And it's just a fabric belt, but it's great because honestly, I mean, you can wear this with anything. You can wear this with a black jacket. You can wear it with jeans, whatever. So it comes with this and it's got, you know, several holes, obviously, there. And this is, and I love this. It comes with this like little hook thing. So you can actually just hook the belt into that. So it comes with snap closures and I will, after I get through this, we'll put up some mod shots and show you. I styled it a couple different ways, but there are several snaps that you can see that go, well, you can see those and look like that. And they're, it's a covered placket on this side so you don't see those. Hanger says Fendi. And then on the inside, you can see it says Fendi and it's got this little gold hang tag that also says Fendi. And I love the collar. The sleeves have a really nice wide cuff. And again, it has the snap closure to it. So sometimes I wear it full length. Sometimes I wear it just cuffed once, which kind of gives it that sort of um, there we go, sort of French cuff look. And then I will also roll it and wear it that way as well. So it is lined in the Zucker print as well. This fabric, and let me give you, let me tell you what it's made out of. It's made out of 65% polyester, 35% cotton, and that would be it. And then the inside, I guess is silk actually. I guess now that I feel it, it is silk. I didn't, I actually, I've never looked at this tag, so I didn't know, but yeah, the lining is 100% silk, which is why it's very, very soft on the inside. This part, it, it's not rough. Don't, don't take that to mean that it's rough at all, um, but it's definitely got some, some weight to it. it it's definitely more substantial. It's, it's almost really like what they do, the Zucker print, baguettes in. It's that sort of canvasy kind of material. But you know, obviously it's got drape to it. It's not stiff. It definitely holds its shape, but again, it's it's not stiff. And I think you'll, you know, you'll see that in when I do the mod shots. There are um, 
not, it's very hard to see this, you guys, I'm sorry, because uh, it blends in so well. But there are two patch pockets on the front, you know, one on each breast. And yeah, so I love to pop the collar sometimes. I wear it down. I love to wear it over, for example, what I'm wearing right now, obviously not with a jacket, I wear it instead of this, but over, you know, a mock turtleneck, a black t-shirt, a black tank. Again, I have already styled this over on Instagram, so those of you may have seen kind of a sneak peek for it. But to talk about sizing, so I originally ordered this in a size 42 which I believe is a US size eight. And then it came and it just was too, it had too much volume in the back of the jacket, especially when you belted it. And I tried on the 42 at the Fendi Boutique in New York and that sales associate that I was talking to at that time he recommended that I go down to the 40. He thought that it really would fit better. And he didn't have one in store, unfortunately. So I couldn't try it on. And so then I didn't, like I said, I didn't, I was kind of hemming and hawing about whether I wanted it. And I was kind of going back and forth between, they also had out at that time, a silk, same print blazer in both the brown and black print and then also in like a black and kind of gray. So it was it was pretty subdued, but it was a double breasted blazer and I was trying to decide whether I wanted that, whether I wanted this, you know, go-to jacket. And after talking with my sales associate, he, at Neiman's, he was like, absolutely hands down this. This is like, he's like, this is so versatile. You will get so much wear out of it. So at the time, as much as I, I don't know, I, I, I just felt like maybe the 40 might be too small. And so I ordered the 42 with my sales associate and it came and I tried it on and I put the belt on and I'm like, you know what? It, it is too, there's just too much volume and I don't wear a size six anymore. I used to wear a size six before I hit menopause, uh, but I don't anymore. So just know, I mean, it, it obviously is supposed to be oversized. And again, you'll see from the cutaways when I'm doing the styling, it, it's still oversized. So just, I guess, be aware if you're going to order this, I would say go down at least one size from your regular size, maybe even two. The only issue comes with the belt. So I actually added a hole. It doesn't have the stitching around it, but because like I said, I don't wear a size six anymore, the belt is, I can get it on that last hole, but it's really snug. So just to give myself a little more room, uh, when I, I took something to the cobbler and they also do alterations. And so I brought this in with me and I was just like, can you punch a hole to this? So, you know, the good news is if I'm able to lose some of this post menopause weight, you know, it's got plenty of holes for me to, you know, move it down and, and cinch it in more. But just as a word of warning, I guess, if you go down in the shirts jacket size because like I said it can be pretty voluminous and maybe too much oversized especially when you have it belted obviously the belt size will be proportioned to the size that you're buying so just mental note so I am so excited like I said I have styled this a couple times but now that it, the weather is getting warmer I am like so excited to style this in more ways and with more outfits. I, you know, obviously wear a ton of jeans and it's it's just, I think it's the perfect piece because you'll see in the styling that I wore it with just, you know, a black t-shirt and a pair of, you know, rolled up boyfriend jeans and some slides. I could easily have put sneakers on and I just have, you know, the cuffs rolled up and it open and it just in that shirt, 
jacket kind of way, just a very casual style. And then you'll also see that I styled it with some very dark wash boot cut jeans. They're a, they're a pretty small boot cut. They're not a, a real super wide. I think they're actually called itty boot cut, itty bitty boot cuts or bitty boot cuts, something like that. But they're a very dark wash, so they're kind of a more dressy denim. And I styled it both open with that and also with the belt with, I think, with this turtleneck underneath it. And then I also put it with a pair of black, more dress slacks, something that I would probably wear to the office. They're kind of fitted. And then again, they kind of have a boot cut, but they have a slit down the front of them, which was great when trying to show you guys these shoes because it displays those perfectly because the, the split in the front of the pant, you know, just goes out like this and it's the perfect display for that kind of shoe. So you'll see those as I cut away for them, but that's what I wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you'll see me style this a lot on my Instagram. Thank you so much for watching today. If you haven't already, like I said, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. One of the things that I really enjoy most about YouTube from both a viewer and as a creator, I guess, is the community. And because I live in, like I said, in the middle of the United States, and I don't have anybody in my life to talk to about luxury items like bags and ready to wear and shoes, this is my outlet to do so. So I love chatting with you guys in the comments and talking with like-minded people and people who enjoy the same types of things that I do. So that's really why I started this channel because you all are the people that like these things too. And I feel like we can share in that. So I would again, love it if you would subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you could have one piece of ready to wear from any fashion house, what would it be? Put that in the comments below. Bonus points though, if you pick a piece of Fendi ready to wear. So thanks again, guys. I really appreciate it. And wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.